Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimetsa Research Company and I'm here to teach you how to prepare, um, how to make the initial preparations for your satellite images just when you download them from the site and by that I mean you will learn how to composite bands, how to mosaic them, how to mask them and how to delete the black margins uh, around your satellite image. So the first thing you need to do is to obviously download these uh, data sets. So you will go to Earth Explorer USGS site. As you know, I always download my um, satellite images from this site. So then you will need to, to define your study area. Now, by the way, I have uh, explained all this whole process in detail and deep down uh, in another videos, in my previous videos that uh, you can check them out in the YouTube channel so but uh, I will just um, indicate them briefly so we have uh, integrated um, guideline video so you will choose the shapefile uh, option here and select your shapefile and it will take you to straight to your study area then you define the date range I will go through 2018, for example, whatever date range you want to study the satellite image for. So there we go. And then I go to data sets. Here you choose your data set, your desirable data set that you want. So this is, for example, Landsat Collection 1, Level 2 for uh, Landsat 8 OLI. Then you go to additional criteria and whatever you want you can uh, choose here but consider that however you make these limitations more you will get uh, less results definitely. So go to results and here we get. So for example I want this one and as you can see there's uh, this part of my study area is not covered so I go to pad uh, 159 so this is all I need and I will proceed to uh, like submit standing request and then you will download it it's a pretty easy process so I will for this case I will assume you have downloaded your uh, images satellite images uh, when you download them, you will get the files like this. Now the first three, actually this is for Landsat uh, sensor uh, number 8. And this is um, the three numbers here uh, is the path number and the next one is the row. So it's the path uh, 159 and the row 35. Then this is the year 2019, this is the month, month number 8, and this is the date, this is the date 29. So, now, what should you do with these uh, satellite images? As you can see, when you open it, uh, first you see a text document right here. This is the all information for this um, actually satellite image. It's a very comprehensive file, but a little uh, like hard to interpret so uh, just take it away and find arc map the, the task you want to do right here is to composite these bands in order to have a image you can look at and just understand it in the first sight so I will, I will tell you so here go straight ahead to your um, folder of these images. Uh, it's the path uh, 159 and okay now you want to choose the bands. Now the thing is that you don't know which uh, bands you need to use and uh, which bands uh, should you composite in order to have a natural color image. So we will search it and combination for Landsat 8. There we go. 
So that's it. You can see uh, the like information of each band here, and you can see that natural color for Landsat uh, eight is bands four, three, and two. So right straight ahead, you will choose bands four, three, and two, and you and you will add it and. In order to, you can see this is the three bands opened here. So, but you, you cannot understand anything from this image. You know, the colors are just gray and you don't, you don't understand the features like in details. So, in order to have a good sight on this image, you need to composite bands. Composite bands in data management. Input rasters will be band two. Band three and band four. And then you will go to define the output uh, location. It is for the path um, 159. You will name it and open it and put a name for it, whatever, 159. Again, and push save and click OK. So wait until it's done and you can see the results. Okay, as you can see, now this is the band combination. You can uh, see the colors better here. So next, you will need to do the same process for another path. So go to composite bands and There you go, you can see the band combination for the path 160, it's like more natural color. This is like the differences between um, two paths and rows and that's because of the different direction of the uh, sensor and the satellite, it, it's not a big deal. When you're working on them, it will be solved and there's no problem. So, the next thing you need to do is to, comp uh, is to uh, remove um, these black margins that you can see here. Now, the thing is that if you mosaic these uh, two images, like as they are right now, you will have these black margins in the uh, final mosaic data set. So first, you need to use copy raster command. Type copy raster here and it's here. And okay, input raster will be one of them, 160 for example. And the output raster will be right here, but no margin, like I would just type no and 160 okay and okay the point is that for the no data value you will change it to zero no data value it's the black margins here are no data and they are um, shown in black you will um, change it to zero in order to they uh, they have just no value and they get white so push ok Till you see the result. 
So as you can see, the black margin of this uh, part of the whole image is removed. So you will need to do the same thing for the next image. Okay, it's the image without any margins here. So the next thing you need to do is to um, combine these two um, images. You can see these are separate images and, you, and if the study area is between uh, these two images and uh, uses two of them in order to cover your whole study area, you cannot have it. So in order to have the whole integrated image which covers all over your study area, you need to um, use a comment named mosaic to new raster. That's it. You'll choose uh, your rasters 159 and 160. Output location will be right here, named mosaic. And data set name will be mosaic. So, but for the number of bands, you should consider how many bands that does each uh, satellite image here have. Now, we combined three bands in order to have each of them. So, the number of bands will be three, obviously, and you push OK. There you go. You can see this whole image which is um, which contains all over your study area so but the thing is that you're not working on this whole image you want to mask your study area and have just pure image which just contains the borders of your study area so you need to type mask or I'm sorry extract by mask spatial analyst extract by mask so then your input raster will be mosaic and input raster will be your shape file of your study area um, okay let me find it there we go and the output raster will be a mask. Save, push OK, and wait till it shows the result. That's it. Uh, you can see it has masked. Uh, this whole image into your study area. You can see here all these um, like features in the image are the same as the features on the ground, have uh, like the same color as the features on the ground. You can see the dam here is water and these are like gardens and forests and and these are just agricultural lands and you can see a center pivot land here and all these other things you have mountains out there and you have like all the other things you have urban uh, areas right there and that's it i'm so happy to have you here and i will see you in the next video bye